Welcome to Math with Noel. Today we'll be doing our six times table. Hi Nile, what will you be using to work out your six times table today? My fingers. Okay, so get started straight away. You can go through the questions. Our first question is one times six, just one not a six. So it equals six. Good job. I kind of messed up the equals. That's fine. Our second question, 2 times 6, all you have to do is add on 6. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the answer is 12. So you added on another lot of 6 to the yes. first question. Is that the technique that you're going to use throughout? I mean, we don't have to do that. Well, it's a good one. Let's start with that and I'll show you some tricks and at the end. And then 3 times 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the answer is 18. Okay. 4 times Six. I got a method to do this. We could double the 12 because if that's 2 times 6 and double 2 equals 4, that means we could double 12. And what would you get if you double 12? Um, double 2 equals 4 and then double 10 equals 20. So 24. Okay, so you think it's 24. Can you just check on? The six from the last answer, just to make sure. Eighteen, nine. From eighteen, we add on six. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So you are correct. Yes. So we shall put a twenty-four. I have to make sure I don't put it the wrong way around. Just correct twenty-four. Five times. Six, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good job. And then we could do the, do the same method with because now we're on six. Double three equals six. So we could, but that would be a little bit trickier than adding on six in this. Case because what was the previous answer for 5 times 6? 30. So 6 times 6 will be? 36. 6 we more. Just on more. Yes, and we know six that 30 more. plus 6 is 36. Very good. 7 times 6. So count on from 36. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So it, equals, so it equals 42. That was a big yawn. Are you a bit tired? No. I'm kind of tired. Kind of. Okay, what's the next question? Um, 8 times 6. 42, adding on 6, so 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Good job. This is actually the first time I've done my 6 times table. Yes. Okay, 9 times 6, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54. Good. 54! I think you're doing a brilliant job for your first time. And 10 times 6. This is commutative. 6 times 10. This is the same as 6 times 10, yeah, which is? Yeah, so 60. 60. And I'm going to show you some tricks when we're finished. Well, not tricks, just sensible ways of working out answers. 11 times 6, 66, because if it's 60... 6 more than 60 is 66. Yeah. Very good. So I'll put my 66 here. Okay, last one. 
Oh, I got an idea. Because if it's 36, we could change that to a 6. And then if you add on 6, it'll equal 42. So that probably means the second number will be a 2. And okay. the next 10 after 6 is 7. So that okay. means it's going to be 72. 72, very good. I'm um, nice. sorry, that was Frankie crying. He probably wants to go outside. Okay, let's put the 72. Can you just check on from 66, just to make 66, sure? 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Very good, 72. Okay, Niall, we're going to work out the answers to some questions in the six times tables. But and we're, we're going to do it without going through all of them. So we're going to look for quick and easy ways to help us, okay? Okay. Now, what is the answer to 10 times 6? And tell me how you know. 60, because it's commutative 6 times 10. So it's 60. So that's a good way of working out what 10 times and 6 is. And we've already done a video of our 10 times table. Okay, good. I so think. you know that 6 times 10 is 60. So that means 10 times 6 is 60. Yeah. So if somebody asks you what is 11 times 6? Uh, 66, because 11 times table is always double digits. Okay, but how can you use the answer for 10 times 6 to help you? Um, to find 11 times 6. Hmm. You said the answer to 10 times 6 was... 60, so you could just add on 6 right, if so you know that's the answer. Very good. Don't look at the board. If you know mm. that 10 times 6 is 60, what will 9 times 6 be and how will you work it out? 6 less. 6 less than 60. Um, we haven't done a video about this, but number bonds to 10, like what numbers what two numbers will make 10 and 6 and 4 make 10 so if we take away 6 it will equal 4 from 60 so, if you get what you, I'm saying so what will the answer be? To 60, Six, 60 take um, away 54. 6 54 and that I'm is correct. correct yeah that's correct so instead of when you worked out 10 times 6 equals 60 to work out 9 times 6 you just took 6 away yeah and you got 54. Brilliant. Okay, so what is the answer to 5 times 6? Don't look at the board. And I want you to think commutative. Mm. What is the answer to 5 times 6? 6 times 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, so if 5 times 6 is 30, what is 6 times 6? 36. And if 5 times 6 is 30, what, what is 30? Four, Four times, times six. six. What are you going to do with the 30? Um, take away six, so 24. Excellent. Well done, Niall. Okay. Cool. Now, if we have, um, if five lots of six equals 30, how many more lots of six is seven times six? Um... If 5 lots of 6 is 30, How many? 2. 2 more lots of 6. And do you know what 2 lots of 6 is equal to? 12. 12. So using 5 times 6 equals 30, what can you do to that 30 to figure out what 7 lots of 6 You can add on 12 because we know that 2 times 6 equals 12. So what will 7 times 6 be if you're adding on 12 to 30? Um, uh, 42. Excellent. Good job, You're doing your six times tables. Good job. Okay, are you ready for quiz time? Of course I am. That's my favourite part of the video. Okay, let's, let's see. Then. Even though I like the whole video. Okay, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like, oh, the quiz time is my favourite part of the video because I kind of like it, but I taste the rest of it. That's not how it's like. That's not, that, that's not how it is. So you actually no. like the whole yeah. thing. But you just get really excited with the quiz part. Yes. Okay. I think we get it. We understand. 
Okay, what is 1 times 6? 86. 10 times 6? 60. Okay. Remember, no looking at the board. You've got to find ways <laughs> to figure it out. Okay. What's 2 times 6? 12. What's 11 times 6? 66. And if 11 times 6 is 66, what's 12 times 6? Um, where? 72. Very good, Naya. Very good. Okay, what is 5 times 6? 5 times 6, 5 times 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. 30. So you were doing. What is it? 30. I 30. So you were doing. You were doing commutative. So yes. 5 times 6 is the same as 6 times 5, which is 30. So what's 4 times 6? Four times six. If five times six is thirty, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, four times um, twenty-four. Very good. Okay, let's do one more. It's going to be tricky. Mm. Is it going to go off our scale? No, it's not. Oh. What is eight times six? Oh my gosh! You can use any mm. method you want. But talk to talk her, um, tell us the method you're using. Hmm. Eight lots of six. Eight lots of six. What are you thinking? Uh, eight lots of six. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's commutative, we, we don't have to do eight lots of six. We could do six lots of ten, and then we could take away the amount of two. Let's start again. You're on the right track. So ten. You want to find what eight times six is, and you know ten times six is. Ten times six is sixty. So eight lots of six is how many lots less? Eight. Eight lots of six is how many lots of six less than ten lots of six? Two. So what number are you going to take away? Twelve. Twelve. So you work out sixty. Take away twelve. And um, 60 take away 12 equals... Do 60 take away 10 first? 42. No. Do 52. You're guessing. <laughs> We're listed. Is it something too? No. <laughs> oh, I know. 48. 48. 60 take away 12 equals 48. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, that comes the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed our video and if you did subscribe now and if you didn't still subscribe and I and don't forget to press that like button. <laughs> so you want them to <laughs> subscribe if they didn't like the video? Yes. Okay.